So now let's see how we can use the guided double exposure option inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So to do that, I'm going to go around and open up an image over here. So there's this woman's uh, woman, as you can see right here. So I'm going to go around on to guided to get the effect right here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around on to the double exposure option. So for that, I'm going to go around on to fun edits and you can see double exposure is an option right here. And you can see the before and after example over here as well. So I'm just going to go around and click and then you can see that this is the image that I have right here. I can use the crop tool first to crop out the area that I want to show in the picture. And you can also go around and use the auto settings or you can go around and select out different things as you can see right here. So here I have the crop first. I'm just going to set the crop and then you can go around and then use the auto select right here to select out different portions of the picture just like this, or you can use the quick selection. So I'm just going to go around and select out this girl's, um, this girl right here entirely uh, from the hair over here as well. So I'm just going to click and drag right here and make a selection of this girl just like this. So that is what you can do. You can do a quick selection right here. So now what you can do is you can import a photo or use one of these pictures right here for the double exposure effect. So I'm going to go around and import out my own picture. So I'm going to import nature and place it. And let's see what happens right here, just like that. So it is applying the nature onto this selection, as you can see right here. You can go around and decrease out the intensity over here as well, just like this. Or you can choose from one of these um, options that you see right over here as well, like forest and so forth. You can see that the double exposure gets applied to them over here as well. So you can use the move tool to uh, uh, move the superimposed image over here as well. If you want a different, let's say, for example, place of the image right here. And then you can choose an effect to finish the double exposure effect right here. So I'm going to go around on to effect and you can select out different effect as you can see right here. Uh, that you want to apply as double exposure and change around the intensity as well. So you want more like a colorful image. You can see that this is what you have right here. So now you can go around and click on next right here and continue editing or quick or expert mode according to how you like it. And that is how you can use the guided double exposure mode inside of Adobe Photoshop Elements. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.